In this video, I'm going to review the top 5 GPUs for Ryzen 3 3200G. For much better performance in Ryzen 3 3200G, you need to pair it with a dedicated graphics card. We offer you the best possible performance at 1080 resolution without bottlenecking the CPU. In order to help you with that, we've been analyzing the market in order to come up with the best GPUs to help you reach those buttery smooth frame rates at all times. I will leave the links to discuss graphic cards in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. RTX 2060 Super is another version of NVIDIA. Being an upgraded edition of RTX 2060, it is an excellent value of the new Navi-based graphics processors. The ASUS Dual RTX 2060 comes with the same design and specs as NVIDIA announced. The ASUS Dual 2060 comes with a boost in RAM, which is firmly helpful in playing games with the help of DirectX 12. Hence the RTX 2060 has the advantage of ray tracing over other graphics cards, all because of its Turing architecture which helps the graphics card to boost its performance. Talking about the connection, the RTX 2060 comes with 2.0 HDMI ports, and also two ports for display, along with a single DVI-D port. Also, it is quite comforting for the eyes. The metal backplate gives it a hulking look. The ASUS Dual RTX 2060 comes with advanced cooling technologies, derived from the flagship's cards. Hence the RTX 2069 optimizes itself for substance over style. Being a perfect choice for a well-maintained build, we declare this card as the second best graphics card for Ryzen 5 3400G. What you get in return for spending the extra money is a card that is far quieter and cooler than the squirrel cage fan model that vents out the rear. This has all the features anyone could want. Runs cool and quiet, hasn't exceeded 58C even after hours of gaming on ultra settings with high FPS. Based on the Turing architecture, the MSI GeForce RTX 2060 graphics card brings the power of real-time ray tracing and AI to your PC games. It also features enhanced technologies to improve the performance of VR applications, including variable rate shading, multi-view rendering, and Verworks audio. Few games support ray tracing and DLSS, but its great quad HD performance and future-proofed for ray tracing support decent overclocking potential. This is also a great card to get, seeing as it will almost never drop below the 144 frames per second mark at that resolution. At number 2 it is MSI Gaming GeForce GTX 1660. MSI GTX 1660's performance is exceptional as it is good at doing what it is designed to do. It is a moderate-cost GPU, which is a great option for gamers who are in search of a higher refresh rate. Hence the GTX 1660 is made up of 12nm fabrication and Turing architecture. The reduced die size, increased transistor count and low power requirements of the 1660 graphics card make it a perfect and reasonable alternative to RTX cards. Configuring itself with a great cooling system. The gaming GTX 1660 is the Goldilocks of extremes, having two fans on the top, named as Twin Frozer 7 cooling system. Although this GTX 1060 is 9.7 inches long, which is suitable for most PC cases. RGB condition is toned down. Two thin LED strips are on the side of each fan. At the back, you will see a standard layout of three DisplayPort 1.4 slots, one HDMI. Hence no DVI for this card. Overall, this card can also be called a killer mainstream card. But not designed for 4K gaming. The GTX 1660 is really the best GPU to get for 1080p gaming as the 1660T is only about 10 FPS faster on average and costs a lot more. So, this card really is the best to get as it's factory overclocked to squeeze out a few more frames, and the cooling is top-notch. Experience immersive gaming experience with this NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super Gaming Graphics Card. The 6GB of memory and 1830MHz boost clock ensure superb gaming performance, while the GeForce Experience feature lets you capture and share live streams, videos, and screenshots with friends. This NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super Gaming Graphics Card boasts a Torx Fan 3.0 feature for efficient heat management and optimal performance. At number 3 it is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. If you've got a tight budget and you don't want to spend more on a GPU because you know you won't need more graphical processing power than the ASUS ROG Strix GeForce RTX 2080 Ti is a fantastic choice. If you are looking for a powerful graphics card or thinking of a jump start on NVIDIA Vision then GeForce RTZ 2080 Ti is actually the most powerful GPU in the market. The RTX 2080 Ti is a monster in the gaming department. It comes with ray tracing technology and is capable of delivering 60 FPS in 4K gaming. The NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti comes with some breathtaking specs with 11GB of GDDR6 RAM, 4352 CUDA cores. It is also running a 1635MHz boost clock. 
All this credit goes to NVIDIA's first implemented 90 MHz overlock. The RTX 2080 Ti GPU also has two additional types of cores, which its predecessors never had. The NVIDIA's 2080 Ti has 68 RT cores power ray which lets the graphics card make more complex scenarios. You will also find new ports on RTX 2080. NVIDIA has added a Nevada link, having 50x more speed to transfer bandwidth. After that, there is also a newly added port of a USB-C video port. Hence USB second generation port support UHD videos as well. The NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti comes with blower style coolers that are extremely good for isolating heat from the components. Aside from the cooling section, the 2080 Ti also supports the vapor chamber, which helps to cover the entirety of the card. The RTX 2080 Ti performs wonderfully for any game, even if you play on ultra maxed out settings. It works without any drops in frame rate or stutters. This includes Minecraft, sarcastic, for the price it is powerful indeed. It is also capable of running the majority of the AAA games at 60fps with 4K resolution. This is of course the lowest powered GPU in this list. At number 4 it is MSI GTX 1650 Super. Although it's not cheap it definitely is affordable than the RTX graphics cards, giving you the ultimate performance you need for professional gaming. While one might consider going above it, the 1660 Super is all you need for the most performance in Risen 3 3200 grams. Let's talk about another supermodel from NVIDIA. The GeForce GTX 1650 Super graphics card looks nearly identical to the GTX 1650 Gaming X, hence there are some minor tweaks in both of them. This card requires a 6-pin PCI power connector. The 1650 Super is slightly different. The MSI 1650 Super Gaming X comes with a factory overclocked facility. In that case, the boost clock of the card is 1755 MHz. The card can even go further when passively overlocked. The VRAM of the card is pretty interesting. The VRAM of the GTX 1650 is capable of running at 15 Gbps, you can also declare this as the maximum of the MSI afterburner. Most likely, the clock speed of the GPU is higher as compared to any other. With the help of memory and core overclock, it's absolutely good for overall performance. The GTX 1650 Super is absolutely an amazing thing because it is a 100W TDP card. It simply requires a 6-pin power connector. Personally, consider the GTX 1650 Super a better budget card. If you are planning to buy this GPU, just don't expect the max resolution in every game. This card features the same cooler and fans that were designed for cards with much higher TDP, like the 1660 Ti Gaming X and the 1660 Super Gaming X, therefore this card remains cool and quiet, even when pushed to its maximum performance for extended periods. And the last one is XFX Radeon RX 570. XFX RX 570 is declared as an incredible graphics card, though the apprentice GPU coveting its Dark Master's power. The dust has settled down and the RX 570 has emerged as the absolute best performance cheap graphics card. This GPU is built with exactly the same silicon that lies in the heart of RX 580, both are manufactured from the same stuff, but the RX 570 has a sapphire nitro version. In terms of power, AMD has provided more juice by providing Polaris 20 GPU inside RX 570. The XFX Radeon RX 570 has higher clock speeds and is suitable to use with a 150 WTDP. The memory section is the main point of difference from other models as RX 570 comes in both the 4GB and 8GB variants. Hence all the 400 series variants run at 211 GB per second. In the performance section, the RX 570 delivers 60 FPS or even more at 1080p settings. You can even use it for 1440p. By dropping your settings from high to medium you can even get great 1440p gaming performance. NVIDIA has still nothing to compare with RX 570 in terms of price or performance level. My only complaint is that, of the two fans, one of them runs virtually silently, while the other fan has a constant low-grade bearing whistle. Even with this bearing whine, it's still quieter than many other GPU fans I have run across over the years that often sounded like jets taking off. So, again, I'm satisfied. This graphics card kicks booty. PUBG runs flawlessly. If someone says there's a better card, they're probably scamming you. I highly suggest this card. Because this is the budget graphics card you've been dreaming of. In the last, we will sum up this video of ours by saying that a graphics card is the most important component in the field of gaming, and if you want to increase the performance in games, you will be fine with any of these graphics cards. Now it's up to you which will meet your budget and requirements. In my opinion, ASUS Dual NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 is the overall best GPU in terms of better gaming performance. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching this video.